Hello, I'm Vincent and you are watching the Falscoin YouTube channel. Normally, I edit videos, but this time I'm trying to be in front of the camera. We are trying to help Falsk a bit so he doesn't work himself into an early grave so he can still enjoy his gains. So hopefully this works out, otherwise I'm banished again to the editing dungeon. <laughs> so let's get to the point. Kaspa has been on an absolute tear this year, gaining over 2000%. Miners are making hundreds of dollars a day at mining Caspa. But if you are a smaller home miner, can you still make some money? This is the Kia Zero Pro, released in November in 2023. So even after a while, now profits are down, is this still a good buy? When I first encountered Bitcoin mining, I downloaded the wallet, put it on my computer, and there still was a way to uh, mine in wallet. So that's the first time I, pr I mined, waited a day, and nothing happened. I thought, ah, oh, this is bullshit, and I stopped it, <laughs> and I wish I hadn't done that. Years later, a friend of mine was telling me about that he was mining Ethereum with graphics card. And I was like, oh, I know about this. And he was saying he was making a lot. So I got hooked again. And this time I did mine some coins. So why am I talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum? Well, because after the Ethereum merge and the industrialization of Bitcoin mining, it's kind of hard to earn money with home mining, especially if you live in Europe like me and have very high electricity prices. So I'm always on the lookout for an efficient miner. When Caspa came on the scene, it really revived a lot of GPU mining rigs. People were mining it with their GPU rigs, building rigs again. It lasted only a little bit shorter than the Ethereum mining. On the Caspa network, ASICS came online pretty soon in its life cycle, almost like they had it ready to go. And those big ASICS, they are very power hungry, they're expensive and not that accessible if you're just in a home or have elec high electricity prices. Then Ice River released their KS Zero that Foscoin reviewed. And it made a lot of money for what it is. It's very small and uses not that much electricity. The KS Zero was making over $20 a day when it came out. The next release was the KS Zero Pro and that's twice as powerful as the KS Zero. So let's look at it. Looks really cool. It has this big passive heatsink fins on it and two fans at the bottom. And it really doesn't make that much noise. I had it on my desk for us for a while this week when editing videos and it wasn't really that distracting, which is pretty crazy. And you can warm your hands on it if you want, <laughs> if you're in a cold environment. It has Ethernet, power at the, at the other side. But the power is at the other side, it's a bit weird. Should have had that at the, same, uh, at the same side, I think. There are some hardware mods and firmware mods to overclock this miner. I haven't overclocked it. I have just run it for six days on standard settings. The hash rate is a little bit higher than advertised like so you have this thing called the silicon lot lottery and this is not just for miners but all chips they can run a bit faster a bit slower depending on which you get so depends a bit but mine is faster so great but the installation is really easy you just put in the power you plug in the ethernet cable you find it on your network with um, like an ip scanner like uh, thing and uh, you just type that in in your uh, browser, then you go to the admin panel and you uh, log in. Standard login is admin and password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you can set the pool you want to uh, direct your miner to. Of course, you have to have a pool address. If you watch the ultimate ASIC miner guide that Foscoin did, it's like an hour long, maybe even longer. There you can see how to set up a pool address. I used F2 pool and of course you also need a Caspa wallet because when you mine the coins, the pool needs to send those coins to you, your own wallet. Uh, I used the Tangem wallet, 
could, could be any wallet. They also have a web wallet on the uh, Caspa website that you see here. And yeah, I, I used the Tangem just for fun, really. We, we got, I got one for free from Fastcoin, so that's why. And if you have that all set up, well, you start earning. But how much are you earning? My miner has consistently earned around 13, 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 Caspa or CAS a day. But how much does a miner like this cost? Well, at the moment, the price is $729, and that's including shipping. And if you decide to use ASIC Marketplace, use the code VOSKKS0, and you get $70 off the KS0 Pro. They sent it to me, it was really fast. It, was, it, it only took three days, and there was a, 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 a tax fee from tw but it was only 28 euros so i don't know if asic marketplace has uh, a warehouse in europe i don't know i'm just speculating but otherwise i won't know how it happened that they've uh, sent this so fast you can also buy directly from ice river you can always double check both websites because minor prices they fluctuate well not as fast as crypto but pretty fast so always worth it to check but how much electricity does it consume? Because yeah, mining often isn't really profitable or not that profitable for home mining because you don't have the best electricity prices. For example, Bitcoin mining is pretty difficult for someone just at home. It's possible, but you need a 240 volt outlet and it uses 3,500 watts. So that's a lot to use like a standard Bitcoin miner energy usage is extremely high. Yes, it earns, but it also burns. So this miner, because it doesn't use that much electricity, it also has a normal wall outlet. I did need to put a converter on it because it had a, not a European plug, but this is like eight euros or something. You just plug it in and it can go into an arm. This is the power brick, not that big. And this is just the power cable so let's do a small calculation it's a little bit apples and oranges but if you look at it like a s21 the latest bitmain and miner it is an industrial miner but let's compare it to the ks0 pro the ks0 pro uses only a hundred watt and it earns two dollars a day so per watt that means it's 0.02 dollars if you look at the s21 that uses 3500 watts and makes almost 18 dollars a day but it uses 3500 watts that is 0.005 cents per watt or dollars per watt i don't know how you say that really so that's a really big difference it's kind of a weird comparison but then you can get an idea how big the difference is so when you use that less energy, it has a way less impact on your profitability. So if you use 10 cents a kilowatt hour, we always use 10 cents a kilowatt hour because Fosk is paying that on the farm. So if he is running this one, it would cost him 24 cents a day. So that would leave him 199 of profit per day. So if you are paying way more, like 20 cents a kilowatt hour, like lots of people here in Europe, even higher sometimes, then you would be paying 48 cents a day, but still making $1.76. And that would be about $53 a month for basically doing nothing. Well, buying this and setting it up, of course. And also because this miner doesn't make a lot of noise, it only uses 100 watts, it uses normal wall outlets, you could scale this up maybe not to an insane big mining farm style, but for a home miner, you could have a rack full of these, not do anything to wear to your electricity and make quite a lot. This all depends a lot, of course, on what Caspar Price is doing and also the emission schedule. But like I said at the beginning, Caspar is doing really good. So it is possibly a smart thing to do. So it's a pretty interesting miner if you don't have like a huge farm or 240 volt electricity or, high, or even high uh, electricity prices. 
even if you don't believe in Caspa, you could mine on NiceHash that pays out directly in Bitcoin. So that would be a way to mine Bitcoin at home. So you might say $2 a day for one thing, who cares? But in Holland we say, wie het kleine niet eert, is het grote niet weerd. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. And I don't have tails, but I have muts. So here is 10 seconds of muts. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and maybe I will see you next time or maybe I will be back to editing again. Thank you and goodbye. Ah.